So, first question, I know you're from California. Um, what city, what neighborhood do you claim? Um, really like central Los Angeles. I basically grew up around like the Fairfax area, went to Fairfax High School. So. All right. What kind of, what was that kind of, what, like what was that whole high school scene like? Um, being directly submerged in a lot of like skate culture, it's located like right off Melrose, so it had a lot of fashion influence and being in that part of the city, it's adjacent to Hollywood, so you have all of those energies combining together. All right. Who in, when you were growing up, was the first celebrity or musician that really caught your eyes stylistically that you were into? Personally? definitely have to be Gwen Stefani. I was taken all the way back. Like Harajuku girls, that whole era was like everything to me. Like I definitely wanted to like be one of them. They were amazing. She's still just like unquestionably cool to me. Yeah, she has really amazing style. Was there a particular video or Holla song? Back Girl. All right. Definitely. That, okay, that was Off awesome. Top. <laughs> <laughs> um, California, you're, you're in New York, and, and to me, California style and New York style is really different. What do you think is distinct about California style? How is it different from New York style? The component of like obnoxious laziness in style, whether it's like the James Purse tee, the sweats, the gym clothes, the flip flops. I personally hate flip flops, but. Um, it's just that reoccurring theme of on the go, laid back, very cool. There are some people like in LA, of course, that have amazing style, but overall, the California, the beach influence, it's a lot in there. You, I, did you, what did you say, um, Brittany? You said obnoxiously lazy? Yeah, it's just to me, like growing up there, just this sense of like leggings is the thing in LA, workout clothes. Um, I think a lot of fashion had to do with like seeing that in like norm core brands, like bringing that whole like workout thing, like using different textures and stuff. So, yeah. So do you feel like that's like the style, like what, what, what's kind of a look you had in high school though? And, and even before I that? was always a little off the wall with style. I mean, weather has a lot to do with like the influence and in style in California versus New York. Like mm -hmm. I personally, like the way New Yorkers dress compared to the West Coast or the East Coast in general, just because they have that battle of the winters. It makes you look at the summer a little differently. You approach style from a different aspect. Is that sort of something you kind of, did you eat when you were in California? Did you, did you have your eye on New York style or was that something that you kind of picked up on? Always. Since I was about 12, I always had my eyes on like different editorials. I would tear them out, put them on my wall. Mm. I mean, linking that high brow to low brow thing was always sick to me. Like putting a skate tee with like a long skirt, like that's nothing new. Like just wanting to truly express myself through clothes, I had to like what he, what's the word? I had to make my scope a little larger. I couldn't mm -hmm. look at my city because my city wasn't sufficing my need for that. So, yeah. Okay, so even though you recognized that there was a particular California kind of style, you sort of had your eye, you were looking past Definitely. that. Definitely. Um, yeah. I had a lot of Asian influence, um, a lot from like anime. I went to an all Korean middle school. They put me on a lot of different things versus style. So I just knew style wasn't it wasn't like, it was further than the home. It was on an international scope. So that's when I really got into fashion on that level. That is interesting. How, I just have to ask, how did you end up in an all Korean middle school? Um, shout out to my mom. Um, <laughs> she, um, it was just like the neighborhood it was in in LA, in Koreatown. And it had like black kids who went there, it had its share of white kids, but predominantly it was, I want to say 80% Korean. So it was just like a good quality school, your mom scoped that? And, Definitely. All right. Um, all right, so now, I know you're in Parsons, mm -hmm. um, but that's a big jump from going to California to New York. What brought you to New York specifically? Because you didn't come here at first to go to Parsons. 
Um, no, I had came to attend business school mm -hmm. and study communications and overall I didn't really like that experience. It was okay, but I was still like working in fashion and I was just constantly on that journey of like seeking something more and Parsons caught my eye and I transferred the first chance I got. Yeah, but why like you why New York though? Like what brought oh, you here? Overall. Yeah. <laughs> um actually I had a basketball scholarship. Oh, to USC and it fell through about uh, I want to say I don't quite remember the time frame but it was maybe like two weeks before I graduated high school mm. and yeah. that's amazing you yeah. had a basketball scholarship yeah <laughs> you're tall I mean what, what position did you play shooting guard that's amazing number 13 forever be bird on the court okay <laughs> very cool I, I would imagine that gives you you've, you've got a competitive spirit then definitely sure. I mean I shape everything I do discipline is extremely important um, I have to just very quickly ask you do you still follow the NBA not no no not really do you have like a favorite basketball player or team or you just it's kind of no I mean being from LA like used to be the Lakers but mm -hmm. I don't really keep up with sports so much anymore okay yeah all right so I know that you want to launch a handbag label can you get into a little bit on silhouette materials timing the whole sort of what what's what's going on with that project definitely um i wouldn't label it as a handbag label mm. it's an overall lifestyle brand just reflecting me as an individual um as far as silhouettes a lot of things i do are inspired by the military mm. so it's kind of i would say durable okay is there uh do you like ha do you have a launch date any timing when when we're gonna see start to see products definitely not just keep your eyes to the street <laughs> okay will do um you know uh Brittany, before we started this interview we talked about another interview you did where you mentioned wanting to also get into furniture design so as as a design student do you are you inspired to do more than just handbags i guess so of course um i'll go as far as buildings i mean to me architecture is the highest form of design because of human interaction so on that note like furniture was where i truly see myself like i want to create things that just genuinely make me happy and i really love homes i love interiors i love the vibes you get from sitting on a chair whether it makes you uncomfortable whether it's like super modern ultra modern or like hella vintage so i i'm really into that okay like right now are there specific places in design that you're really into or designers that you're really inspired by at the moment um at the moment i would definitely have to say raf simmons did a little capsule collection with craft at um furniture design mm -hmm. so i really love that the tables had like immaculate silhouettes um the chairs had cool coloring because when i say furniture i want to work with like juxtaposing materials that aren't necessarily used in furniture design whether it's like a super heavy leather or a very rare marble with like heavy veins or no veins at all and that just makes it that much more of a research project okay so definitely furniture, architecture are things that you're really into at the moment. Definitely. I mean, for, it's like a life thing. It's like a marriage I just got into. <laughs>